Today let's look at multiplication with lines. It's often called Chinese or Japanese multiplication. So let's look at 23 multiplying by 21. Let's take the first number 2 and draw two horizontal straight lines. Then the next number 3 and draw three horizontal straight lines across the other side of the page. Then we take the next number 2, draw two lines and finally the last number 1 and draw one line. Then we look at these three areas and count the number of times the lines cross. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 in the first section. In the second section we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then in the third section we've got 1, 2, 3. So we put these numbers together and there's our answer. 483. So let's look at another example. This one's slightly more complicated. 35 multiplied by 23. We start in exactly the same way by taking the first number 3 and drawing 3 horizontal lines across the screen. 1, 2, 3. Then move on to the 5 and draw 5 horizontal lines across on the other side of the page. And then proceed again in the same way to across the bottom and then take the number 3 and you've got 3 lines going across the top. And then we circle the zones and count the dots like we did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now in this example, because we have two digits, we carry the 1 across to the middle. So in the middle, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Which of course adds together to 20. And then we do the same again and move the 2 over to the next section. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dots in the next section. So 6 plus 2, of course, is 8. And again, without a calculator, we have our answer, 805. So in our last example, let's look at a slightly higher number, 331 multiplied by 12. So we start in the same way by drawing horizontal lines for the number 3 first and then we draw another 3 horizontal lines for the next 3 but of course in this example we have another character so we've got the 1 at the end then we've got the horizontal line across for the number 1 and 2 lines at the top for the number 2 now because we're working with larger numbers, we actually have four zones that we need to count where the lines cross. So we always start counting on the right hand side. We have two in the first section and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the second section. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the third section. And in the last section, 1, 2, 3. So that gives us our answer again, 3,972. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.